with your wax. You need to get like one of those candles where like put it right in there he and let that broke his mic right off. He's like, oh, fuck this mic. Fuck this you mic, I'm out. I like where TJ's mic shows up. I feel like that wouldn't get in my way ever. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's pretty just stationary, too. Uh, not That's, that one. Yeah. No, uh, that one. This one? That yeah. one, yeah. One that oh, you it hit does, every once in a while. It does every once in a while, yeah, if I do something stupid. Like mine, <laughs> if I just move my hand off of my keyboard sometimes, I'll tag mine. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, because I got, like, just a a cheap-ass, like, it came with wires and everything. Like it's just a cheap, normal what you would see at the at the bar or concert. That's about what I'm looking at too. Yeah, and I just I don't care for it. That cheap ass thing you're talking about is way probably way more expensive. We have these <laughs> twenty dollar cookie cutter made in Indonesia. Yeah. Things. I'm I'm lazy today and just use like last time my. Headset. You sound pretty good Sounds with good. your headset. Yeah, it's a twenty dollars headset, <laughs> red yeah. mammoth or something. It's always German. funny how, <laughs> funny how like sometimes cheap things can just sound as good as expensive things. Right. I think if if you shop like Amazon or something and you really whore out the the star reviews based on the amount of reviews, verified purchases, and you know, high five, four and five star ratings. You can find really good equipment that's that's not expensive and not name, not you know, big time name brand. Yep. <clears throat> <coughs> Damn it! Damn Man. it! All them cough, that cough going. A little bit. Get hmm. wise. I thought Naga was frozen again, but he moved. <laughs> <laughs> We're alive, right? Yes. Why? There. Why what? My Twitch is being weird today. It's barely showing people's videos. But you got please stand by live, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. We're not sure. It's, you can keep picking your nose if you want to. Yes. Yay. More importantly, he can finish off that dessert. Eat them boogers. Mm -hmm. Why so do I haven't had a driver That's update for funny. NVIDIA in a long time? I had, a gin I had ginger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. It's a little Canada dry and some baby cans. My hands aren't actually that big. I was going to say, that is, a, that is a baby can. It's at 7.5 ounces. Mm hmm. Got Whatever your boy needs. Yeah. This is my third for the evening. See, I, I measured that about right. Yep. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> Pascal, you got your road. dinner behind you. Mm, I know. Is that rice? <laughs> no. It's a napkin. It's a napkin on a plate. Mm. Uh, and two Cokes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, quit critiquing my house. Here, hold on. I'll fix it. Gino, come here. No. Look, <laughs> it's going to disappear. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to... In five, four, three, no. <laughs> it's like right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to get up. I don't blame you. <laughs> no hunting. I'm going to take over the district tomorrow for my boss. That's going to be fun. That skills in charge. Right? Yeah. Card, six people in three days now again. It's impossible. I don't understand it. Pain to get this sh uh, huh? Yeah, we go. We go. Let's go. Let's go. Five, let's go. four. Three. Hello, you turkeys, and welcome to episode 37 of the SideQuest Gaming Podcast. If you don't know, SideQuest is a weekly podcast where four longtime friends get together and shoot the shit about video games, TV, movies, and any other thing they feel like talking about along the way. 
I am, as always, your host, Wes. Above my, if you're watching, my uh, Michael Myers husk is the resident German, Pascal. Hey, what's up? To his left is the resident uh, Hoosier. Yeah, that's, I guess. that's what we are. Like, because people like to knock on doors and then farmers come and go, who's there? Apparently. That's where it comes from. I'm Zach. Wow. And below him. Uh, no, the, don't blow me. Below him. <laughs> below me. The champion of hide and seek. TJ. Hi. What's going on, Hello, fellas? Man. Oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, living, the are we yeah. living, living our best lives? A little <laughs> low energy today. You and me both. I don't. I'm like, my best live ever. Live aid. Aid. Mm hmm. Oh, people are following Ooh. in the chat. Sweet. Well, guys, we got a little bit of news to cover tonight. Uh, and obviously, at the end, a wild and wacky story to tickle your brain with. Um, didn't know. If you're not watching this live, we do record this live every Tuesday night. Twitch.tv slash WestmanY2K. You can join us live there and interact with the chat. Have a good old time. Before we get started yeah. with the news, we've got to play a little game called Catch Up, which is where we catch you all up and each other up on what we've all been doing throughout the week. And it's always started off by our favorite person, uh, Johnny Carino! Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah, um, what did I do? I played some PC games with uh, Zach and uh, TJ. We played some Apex on PC. No, you played Apex mm -hmm, on PC, and yes, I actually boy. got a. I got some. There was a cheater. There was a hacker, indeed. <laughs> I think it was the first game too. Um, I I ran around the corner. Uh, I was. I don't know if anybody of the listeners knows about Mirage, but they buffed him kind of where when you're in the ultimate ability. You, he goes invisible. Like, you can't see him unless, you know, you're, like, moving around dirt or something, but you can't see him. So I used to, they both get down really quick. I'd full shield and armor, go around the corner, just peek the corner, invisible. I was still in the cloak mode. And boom, headshot, I'm down. Like, he, there was no way he could have seen me. He snapped onto my head and I was dead. And so we kind of figured, all right, that's weird. So that was Sounds like first a sexual hacker. assault. Yeah, I did. So, um... That was my first experience, but, you know, I said, like, okay, well, you will have to, you know, there's hackers everywhere, I guess, on PC sometimes, so you just have to deal with it, and we kept on going. We had some pretty good rounds. I was frustrated because I couldn't get any kills, and then I got a kill. I think I got, like, four kills one round. Naga got four as well. So we, we went pre it was pretty fun. Um, played some Warhammer 2 Vermintide with Zach, and um, Cody was his name? Deckard, I think? Yeah. Cody. Oh, yeah. Some, yeah. Rafirian. Rafirian. Okay. Yeah. It was fun. There was so many was goddamn awesome. names. I know. <laughs> it, it was fun. Uh, Warhammer. Name dropping. Um, I had a lot of fun with that. And uh, I tried to catch Zach uh, off the guard, be like, hey, want to play? But he was busy. So, but yeah, I want to definitely want to continue playing um, those kind of games with them guys. <laughs> and we played some Divinity. Shut up. <laughs> I, like, I like how he cut that story short. Um, he was like, I was like, uh, want to see if Zach wants to play. <laughs> play now? Play. I guess I'm he done. He's frozen again. He froze again. Yeah, Bye, cool boy. We We're can doing hear cool you, stuff. Oh, he's back. Yeah, okay, we, cool. Oh, oh, there you are. Oh, TJ Technology. Yeah. Um, he's, time, he's time traveling. Um, played some Divinity with TJ. Um, as always, was really fun. Um, had some good sessions there, and we, I think, more and more realize how big of a game it is. <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun. I'm glad you, you guys stream it. Um, yeah, definitely. We need to over at twitch.tv slash Sasquatch Nugget. Yeah. yeah, can't wait to watch more. Yeah, yeah. it's like I thought you were gonna bone that cow lady. I was trying. I'm so afraid. He does everything, man. Everything that moves, he's like, all right, well, there's an option. Dude, if it's a it. hole in the ground, I'll pound it, baby. Yeah. Let's take her down to Pound Town. Um, Try to cross a bridge and then TJ moved too far, so we got in a fight and the troll killed me with like two hits. <laughs> um, what happens so... when you die in that game? Do you have to reload? Um, well, we, we play on a mode where, yeah, we, you have to reload the last checkpoint, but there's apparently a tech, tech 
what is it, tactical mode or something. And if yeah. you play that, there's like a permadeath, like you have to re-roll and do a complete new character. Ooh. So um, that's something maybe for a rerun of that game. But other than that, um, I didn't really play a bunch other than that. Like, no, I played one round, I think, of Battlefield, but it's the same. You know, whatever. It doesn't get me excited anymore unless the Pacific stuff comes out. Hey, so Blasphemy. speaking of Battlefield then, since we're just talking about it, um, what is, now that it's been out and you're kind of to the point where you're like, eh, it's, it's just Battlefield and it's not new, the, the, the shiny new car smells worn off. What, uh, what's your thoughts on it versus Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 1? How do you, how does it rank up there? Gameplay wise, hundred times better than Battlefield One from the mechanics, the gunplay. Like so you still, the, you still think that? Uh, hell yeah. Um, atmosphere, Battlefield One. It was just way more cinematic. You kind of felt like, oh man, I'm in love right now. Um, from how they put everything in scene. Um, Battlefield Four, probably. Well, you have to think about Battlefield Four. Launch was horrible for the first six months to a year. But it's still your favorite, right? After in the second year became my favorite, yeah. So I can't say a lot more the, content, right? Paid content that at the end of the cycle when that game was actually good was kind of hard to find people on every map. Right now, that's a good thing about everything that you have, another person has too. So that's a good thing. That's so, true. um, so I'm just kind of holding off because I have like 300 hours in the game. It's just kind of you know, they release a new map, they're going to release another one another three this month and then coming end of september or beginning october we have the whole pacific theater you know with all the big pacific battles in so until then i just kind of you know i need to play different games i can't always play the same game it's it, it gets hideous so you get burned out on it um tell my text message that <laughs> what with divinity can only play one game. Cannot play the same game. Hey, Divinity, you know what? Divinity. If you weren't playing this game with him, he would have already beaten it on twi- beaten oh, it twice yeah, and gone on to something on, else. Yeah, he would have been on twat mode. Yeah, and beat it. No, but um, it's okay though because with TJ, I learned to be more patient and let him do his thing, and I just kind of roam around. And so I I try to explore more, especially with Divinity. Like he's doing his stuff there, and then I just roam around. And sometimes I get in a fight on accident, but I just try to you know, or like, hey TJ, look at this, you know this. Nobody's you mentioned lies. I wish that they I wish they could sort of I know it's I don't know it's really weird I wish they could work on that a little bit like if you get in a fight and I come to join it I get like a mile away from the fight and it then brings me in so I have to spend two turns just like catching up I figured it out too you have to sneak in because when you sneak you see the red vision there's like a red vision uh... and then as soon as they see you they're directing the fight so if you sneak around it you can I looked it up because oh, okay. it was annoying Oh well, that makes sense yeah cuz it sort of sucks having to waste two turns when two people are fighting eight people. So yeah, definitely. So, but yeah, that that was kind of like my stuff. Um, I mean, obviously, the movie of the week. Um, we gonna talk about later. Um, uh, finished Supernatural season twelve now with my girlfriend, so that was awesome. Um, and was it the twelfth or eleven? I don't know. No, one of them. One of them. To, you have done. You had to finish thirteen. No, you, because you are. <laughs> no, you. Oh, you yeah, I'm. Ask me. I think I'm at season twelve now. We just finished season eleven. I think we the darkness saga thingy. I, whatever. I need a life. Um. So <laughs> I didn't really watch anything besides that though. Um. And nothing really worth mentioning of gaming. Just you know the usual stuff that I usually play. But most importantly, I thought I was very excited playing on PC. And I've played House Flipper, which is fun. By the way, it's like 13 bucks at Humble Bundle, I think, for everybody who's interested. It's like, it's like take Sims and architecture minus the people management and just building houses and stuff. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I think uh, I spent like 30 minutes in Blitz's chat one day watching paint dry. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's some, I don't know. I'm more about the demolition where I take down walls and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, um, it's pretty a simulation, obviously. It's not like, you know, quick and stuff, but... I, I watched what it is. I watched Blitz play it one day. Yeah. Well, what we're gonna do right now is we got this wallpaper in here. Right now they've got these little rectangle designs. We want to put the paisley and every single <laughs> stripe 
or strip of this stuff you gotta you gotta do like with your mouse it's so annoying no you, you actually level up where you can do like four or five at the same time you level so. up it's an rpg nice. yeah it has, like, it has rpg elements where you the more you and do fucking it fucking burger the king kids meals have have rpg elements these days <laughs> Um, but yeah, congratulations! That... Your forearm muscles up to three. You can now go from a three-inch brush to a five-inch brush. Yeah, no, but um, I like the Bob Ross. This. The <laughs> and that was it. Like I didn't like. Get a Bob anything. Ross. You sold a Bob Ross shirt today. <laughs> I did sell a Bob Ross. <laughs> Fucking that was random. Yeah. Nice. Dude, walking around with the Bob Ross shirt, and some dude's like, "Where'd you get that?" And I was like, "Right over here." And he's like, "Thank you." And he. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Ross selling machine over here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh yeah, so that was about my week. Um, we talk about other stuff. Probably fucking soon. look at Ogre over here towering over his <laughs> giant can of ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of uh, Zach, how was he? Yeah, say speaking of ogres, I was gonna be a little <laughs> offended by that. <laughs> uh, my week was all right, not too bad. Um, I went and saw Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Ooh, I was excited to see that. Movie Pass. Um, Did it was change your password? Really uh, no, they, so far, um, <laughs> Recall has not changed my password. Mm, I can't um, wait to talk about that. Right. Uh, it was a really good movie, actually. I wasn't sure if I was going to be into it, but I left the movie pleasantly surprised. It was good. The creature designs were really cool. It felt... It was obvious, obviously there to hit on some nostalgia factor for people who read the books as kids. Yeah. But they did a good job of bringing it up to speed with adults, I guess. So it didn't seem that childish while you were watching it, which was so really it's a cool. movie for adults. Like it's not. It's like... a movie for adults. Okay. Reminiscing about their childhood. Yeah. Kind of like um, what Goosebumps should have been. I never saw Goosebumps, but yeah, probably. This one was Goosebumps! My favorite! My favorite! Goosebumps. <laughs> Member? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not sure how many of the previous podcasts I have notes for. Um, so, yeah. Good movie. Definitely go see it. It's worth it to see it in the theaters, I think. It was creepy, and it had a couple jump scares, but not a whole bunch of them. So if you're afraid of those, you're still fine. Um, <laughs> I am afraid of those. Yeah. Uh, so I watched that. Um, I played Apex with Pascal and also not with Pascal. And I played Vermintide 2 with Pascal and also not with Pascal. And I played... Um, <laughs> What's your preference? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I like playing with Pascal. It's a good <laughs> um, and then I played some League of Legends this weekend. Um, had my D&D session on Friday. And that was a good time. Unlike um, some of us. Unlike some of us. Uh, apparently, I just have to go to a bunch of birthday parties this week. So, next week? I think fuck Uncross those guys. Those arms. <laughs> Chris Cross episode. You know what, what's going to happen is we're just going to have a special D&D episode of uh, SideQuest and fuck it. Right. Now, I'll you know what's going to happen. Do. We're going to have a D&D session and TJ will magically not be able to attend it and he will probably jump off a bridge. I'll just tell everybody <laughs> you fell out of your chair and you'll be right back. Yeah. Just plaster that over his webcam. <laughs> or show up on the call. Um, yeah, other than that, I really don't think I did a lot. I watched, uh, I watched more AP Bio, which if you guys haven't seen that, you need to find a way to see that because it's hilarious but hulu took the first season off oh. um yeah which is a little unfortunate i haven't found a place to watch it yet uh but i keep telling everyone that they should work on finding a place to watch it um i never looked it up but i did hear that someone may have picked it up for a third season uh at nbc's um live stream or streaming app is picking it up for a third season which is a little sad uh, looks like I'll be signing up for that for a month. Power they do the that. same with um, The Office. It's going to be on whoever owned The Office on their own channel. They take it away from Netflix. Yep. But, uh, I mean, at least they're keeping this show going by doing it. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, so, yeah, that was, that's really it. I, I'm racking my brain for anything else I did. I played some uh, Total War Warhammer, 
Uh, I had a good time with that. Streamed a little bit of that last week after podcast. Um, I love that you, game so much. I can spend you hours. You streamed a lot last week, like four or five days. Four days. Did you, did you make your go? You I didn't, didn't make it? I didn't no. stream oh. on Saturday. Oh. Yeah. I, thought, I thought you had hit it, so I wasn't going to harass you, but I wish that no, would No, harass me all you I want. I did not stream on Saturday. I don't remember why. Oh, I had to go do family stuff, and I came home, and I ate too much food, and I felt real bad. <laughs> no. You know what I'm saying? This is not what happened. Can I say what really happened? Because I was there. <laughs> okay, go for it. <laughs> what oh happened? yeah that's right he was playing no, league. he was playing league and i'm like zach play, why aren't you streaming i was in a discord with him like the whole the whole time he was on he's like no man i don't wear a shirt <laughs> yeah i was real hot <laughs> I had eaten all that food, and i was not putting a shirt on <laughs> he's got the meat sweats <laughs> i had the meat sweats hard <laughs> so that's what happened <laughs> illness Stop speaking me? speaking of know. speaking of meat sweats we're talking about pop rocks in the chat over here and um, I, I was around uh, the very first time a certain German tried Pop Rocks. He'd never, he never had them as a child. No. And, uh, it was weird. Tell him, everybody yeah, what that was it. like, uh, explosions in your mouth. It's like three years. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was intense and sparkly. Did you try to spit them out? No. I he, was just like, what's going on? I think there's still a video somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's out there. Ooh, let's put that shit up on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i want to see um ray yes rosie cuervo at your birthday <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was the famous night where i fell asleep and zach gave uh west gave me a blanket oh <laughs> he covered me up i don't know people think i might have gave you more than that <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> pictures to prove it Hey, <laughs> do you want to walk home again, buddy? <laughs> oh, I, just, I didn't walk anywhere. I called a ride. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I'm going to pass this on now because that is definitely all that I did. So, TJ, take her away. All right. So, I didn't watch any movies. I did some more binge watching of Supernatural. I think I'm about five or six episodes into season 13. So once we finish that, we finish season 14 and we'll be caught up to what's on TV right now, I think, right? Which in, is on, no, no? They're still not done with season 15 shooting, though. Oh, they're still shooting it. So yeah, I'll be caught October, up for... In October it comes out, yep. Oh, man. Yeah, so I'll probably be ready to watch it and then I'll be bummed because then I'll have to wait like for every episode to come out because then now I can't stop, so. But uh, still, I still enjoy it. Um... I don't want to say too much because I know Pascal and his girlfriend are creeping behind me. So um, be prepared, Pascal. Uh, you're going to need some tissues. Lots of tissues. Maybe even a whole box of tissues. Damn. So it's going to be rough. Just um, a lot of chicks in it. Yeah. Um, so other than that, uh, we played, as you heard, Zach said and Pascal said, I've played some Divinity with Pascal. Still loving it, still having a little fun, streaming a little bit of it. Um, played some Apex, and we'll talk a little bit about that in the gaming news section because uh, a, a little sad of an article I read today, so I'm a little bummed that people keep feeding into EA's bullshit, but, you know, it's sort of like anything else. You try to talk them down off the ledge, and they just keep jumping. So as long as you keep doing that, EA is going to keep doing what they do, which is eating that lettuce. If you your butt everybody. was a big head of lettuce, they would be all up in it like, um, 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 damn, munching on a lettuce. big green ass. <laughs> so that's George about all I Washington. got for uh, <laughs> movies and games. Uh, we did a little bit of work. Working, working. Um, we, were, we were getting ready. I had all my papers laid out for D&D Saturday. We'll keep those things out because I'm going to something with those. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll get the rank up. Have I ranked up yet? No, that's what, what I'm going to have you guys do. Oh, okay. So, uh, so hopefully we'll get to find out what goes on after the hallway. I think we're going to continue on in the hallway we left off, of, if I remember correctly. We were yes. stuck in a dungeon hallway somewhere. Um, fuck you, Mike, for touching me. Actually, I touched you, but I love you. <laughs> we were um, just talking about that. Yeah, that's that's when I get talking, I like move my head. Weeble wobble, weeble wobble. Uh, other than that, man, I think that's all I did. 
I didn't do anything. I was pretty. <laughs> so I was pretty. I was pretty slacked. So I'm going to pass it on to the Westman. Alrighty then. I didn't do a whole lot of shit. Um, I played Madden, and um, I played Madden, and I played Madden and Madden and Madden and, and Madden. And um, are you still true to your no pay team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the great thing about it is I've I've played a lot of different modes. They're all called Ultimate Team. <laughs> I haven't played <laughs> any, I haven't played any other modes. I haven't started a franchise. I haven't done anything. I'm I'm I am sucked into Ultimate Team. I I know that it's it it, it is um what do they call it? I mean it's it, it pisses predatory. me off. Predatory, <laughs> yes, thank you. Predatory, um, like I don't say gaming practices, but uh, marketing practice. It's it's all about getting money for what you've already paid the game. It it drives me freaking berserk. But I, I committed to to do it for a while, at least for the stream this month, and I'm having or this year, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's becoming quite the struggle, not having uh, a couple hundred bucks to drop to try to get some better cards to make my teams better. I'm having trouble beating some of the solo missions uh, with my team the way it is now. But uh, So when it, you, you play against other people? I have once only. You can a lot. You actually get pretty good rewards for it too, so... Does it match you up with similar ranked teams? It's supposed or... to supposed to. I don't know that it doesn't. I, I actually saw a game. I was watching a game the other day on Twitch, and this guy jumped out to like a 21 nothing lead in the first quarter, and it's it the game paused itself and said, we're sorry. It looks like we've matched you with somebody that is much more below your skill level than we thought. Let's give them a minute to think about conceding the game, and I guess it gives the other person the option to you know, hey, you look like you're out of your league here. Do you want to concede the game? And they didn't. And then about 35 nothing later, they decided to concede the game. But, okay. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm assuming it does attempt to match you up very well. The one game I played, I won. Um, I was actually losing, and the guy quit out because I scored and then got an interception on the next play. And I guess he was like, fuck this shit, this stupid. I'm going to play the whole four quarters because I'm a dumbass and quit. I see that so, like, I, I only... I very frequent or infrequently watch Madden streams, but I see people quit out all the time. Fucking that just hipster millennials, man. They don't have the patience. They want their participation trophy. If they're not, if they're not going to win every goddamn down, they're not going to play the game. Okay, I was just curious if that like. That's all. How heartbroken? <laughs> How butt hurt? How heartbroke would you be if like your team was way better than the other team and it fucking popped up that message like? We see you're getting your ass stomped. We may have made a mistake, and you're like, "No, my team's supposed to be better." <laughs> so much money. Like, in, <laughs> in other words, you suck at this game. So yeah, no. Um, but I'm an 81 overall now. I think you start off at like 61. It's been a struggle. I've had some pretty good luck with the get a gold packs that cost five thousand coins. Um, some of the I pulled like an 85 overall. Larry Allen, who's an offensive lineman, out of that, and then. 84 overall legends, Ryan Fitzpatrick, which I sold for cat. No, I sold that for training, like 470 of the training currency. Anyway, I'm not to bore you all with all that stuff. It's still going. Um, it, Ultimate Team's fun, but God, please, people, stop spending money on it. I, I, I actually heard, uh, I was listening to a different podcast today, and apparently there was some sort of F Federal Trade Commission hearing uh, recently about loot boxes here in the States. And they were saying that it's quite a common thing for companies to either ask people that are, that they know are live streaming, big streamers, uh, I'm assuming, uh, to open packs on, on their stream where they've paid money for them. And they actually have it coded in. So they give these people a better chance to get good pulls and so really? it's inspiring. Yeah, it's inspiring all the people that are watching them to now say, oh, I want to go get that shit. And then their odds are much different than what they're seeing on TV. That's dirty. Predatory as fuck, I'm telling you. 
don't waste your money. You already bought the game. Don't do it. I mean, there's a reason they make nine hundred million dollars a year profit on this shit. <laughs> Dick, and then they they don't change anything about the damn franchise mode or any of the other modes. It's just constantly ultimate team, ultimate team, ultimate team. And yeah, I'm playing it, but don't don't spend your money on that. They've already got enough. Anyway, that's the only game I played this week. Um, and I'll definitely branch out and play something else uh, the rest of this week or next week. But uh, watching stuff, I watched a couple of things. Um, of course, we all watched our movie, um, The Autopsy of Jane Doe, which we'll talk about after this, I guess. But I watched um, the next to last episode of Euphoria this season. And that show is as good as ever. Uh, 10 out of 10, definite buy for me. Um, you didn't rank your movie that you saw, by the way. Yeah, I said definitely see it. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, it. we're seeing it in the theater. In the theater, gotcha. Yeah. Um, and then, what else did I watch? I watched, oh, <laughs> the reboot or reunion or whatever of Beverly Hills 90210. Kind of ho. Kind of ho. It was different. So I, I'm, I, I'm on my way home the night that it came on. And my wife's telling me that in an hour, the show's coming on and there's no talking in the house for an hour. And I'm like, what? She can't stand it when she's trying to watch something and I talk to her. Apparently, I just keep nagging and nagging and you know, yeah. And so I, I, I told her I would do that. I didn't. I, I talked. But I was sitting over here on the computer and, and the show came on and I heard the, the first music. Dan it, dan it. And I'm like, uh Fuck it, I'll go sit on the couch and watch it. So I did. And, um... <laughs> what was that? It was very weird. Instead of them picking up as the characters that they played all these years later and continuing their story, uh, they're playing themselves in a fictitious future where... They are going to a 90210 like convention for fans. And so like Jenny Garth is playing Jenny Garth. Uh, Ian <laughs> Ziering is playing himself. Jason Priestley is playing himself, having played all these characters in the past. And it's, it's all very, and, and they always bitch about not ever, ever being able to do anything, but be 90210 people and, not having any money and blah blah blah. It's very, it's very nostalgic. But it's a fucking train wreck. I, I I'm kind of dying to see how it goes. To be honest. Oh, uh, that's like a series. Huh? It's a series. Sorry, yes. I thought it was just like a one-off. No, thing. I think I think the next one comes on tomorrow. I don't know how they're gonna make a season out of this, but I I can't say I didn't enjoy the episode. It's just not at all what I was expecting. I don't think it was what anybody was expecting. Um, will it work? Sure, it's the fucking Beverly Hills 90210 people. But, um, very, very weird, very different. And that's. I wonder how many people tuned into that. I don't know. I really don't. That's all I watched. Um, so that'll do it for me. Do we want to talk about the movies now? Sure. All right. How many people yeah, in chat? How many people in chat did your homework? Homework was to watch the autopsy of Jane Doe on Netflix. I'm sure, at least fifteen or twenty. And how people many of you it, listening right? tweeted us? Because I scoured through thousands None. and thousands of tweets to take notes of what you guys thought about the movie. You're right; it was zero. <laughs> I'm glad you got to see all those millions of tweets, though. I know, right? Yeah. yeah. I didn't think I was going to be able to make it today because I was still scouring through them all. <laughs> Same. <laughs> they were hard to find, but they weren't there. <laughs> Nobody. You know what, listeners? You guys are a bunch of assholes. <laughs> Chat's like, I'm playing games right now. I'm not typing in this shit. Okay. Yeah, we're playing Madden over here. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody right. wants to watch so, so everybody here watched it, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Well, let's let's let uh, actually, you know what? Since I'm here, 
since I'm already talking, Husker's like, I was in Colorado. They don't have Netflix there. <laughs> <laughs> you anyway. You can um, literally go up to the top of the mountain, Netflix and chill. <laughs> and, <laughs> a little giggle. <laughs> 10% less Husker, oxygen. Set him off. <laughs> So we, we all watched the autopsy of Jane Doe. Uh, it was another mm-hmm. wonderful Pascal pick. No, I'm just kidding. You're welcome. Uh, he does like the kind of pseudo spooky movies. This movie mm-hmm. was uh, basically, I don't know what, what state or whatever it was set in, but it opens up with a mass murder in a house and you don't know what's going on. And in the basement, they happen to find this body half buried in the dirt. And uh, boobs out. Boobs out, baby. Throughout the whole Boobs movie. out for Harambe. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So uh, they take this body to the crema- crematory, the morgue, whatever, and, and they, need a, they need a cause of death, and so they do an autopsy on this unidentified lady, here forth known as Jane Doe. And uh, they start to find some very interesting shit. Uh, and as the autopsy goes into its four stages, the, the deeper they go into the autopsy, the creepier mm. the shit gets and the more creepy shit starts happening around them. Um, you know, I don't want to get into too much before everybody else gets to talk about it, but I thought it was a pretty well-made movie. It was on the short side, uh, an hour and 24 minutes, I think. That's with mm-hmm. credits. Um, I can't say I disliked anything about it. It was a pretty damn good movie. It's not one of the best movies I've ever seen, but I didn't, I didn't hate it. I actually I, I liked it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. So um I don't know. What do you guys think? Pascal, go first. Um, I mean, I watched it like this is you know, obviously before too, but I just like in the like beginning, once the creepy shit happens, it's kinda like you call called it and stuff, but you know, once they go into like detail with like bells on their toes and stuff and then you hear all of a sudden the you know, the bell sound and you know, I don't know. I just that is like the shit that freaks me out. It's like you expect something to happen and it slowly builds up towards yeah. it. Like this, this, the suspense it creates. They I think they did, did a really good job of painting the things that were going to be suspenseful later, early in the morning. Mm-hmm. In the movie, yes. They yes. seated you That's really right. well for the things mm-hmm. you needed to pay attention to that were going to come yeah. back and be weird. And I it was, really appreciated that. Exactly. And it wasn't a groundbreaking movie. It wasn't like the, we and reinvent horror for what it is, but I think they did, you know, everything they tried was okay. It wasn't like bad. It wasn't, you know, I don't know what the budget was for that movie, but I, you know, I don't think it was that much either because it pretty much was only like one area. Like they didn't like go like, you know, crazy with like locations, obviously. Yeah, but... I don't think I had a cringe, like a cringe moment in the whole movie. I mean, there were some cringe inducing moments that because it was kind of gross, like some things mm-hmm. that they found. Yeah. But as far yeah. as like cringy, like, ooh, that was bad, I there wasn't any any of that for me. Exactly. I only cringed for her. Could you imagine how long she had to lay there and let them stare at her tits? Uh well it was if, a long if those were real tits. That probably were. I'm pretty sure those were real tits. They were pointed. Yeah. I mean, could sky. you imagine like how long that went on? Like she had to lay there and just like, it was oh, about, like I think it was about forty five minutes in when they finally folded them over. Yeah. After, the, after they cut, you yeah. know. So literally, you just got like, you're just, oh my gosh, I just couldn't imagine how that went down. And you know, you know, like when they shoot scenes like this, there's like retakes and she's relay there. And then no, like, it was yeah. hours and hours. It was probably like a blow up doll. Could have been. <laughs> and they just CGI'd it, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Oh. Nah, because he would have popped her with the swab, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dude. Gross. Um, I mean, for me, um, I'm more interested with like Zach and Nugget and I mean you already gave your opinion, so it's really interesting how you guys like it because I know I'm always kinda like on the weird like horror side because those are the movies that interest me the most. Um but for me it was like a solid like if you're a really horror fan and you want to have a collection, that's a buy. If you're just like a casual watcher who likes um, horror movies or like suspenseful movies, I think it's definitely a rent. I mean, it's not a skip movie for me at all. So it's in between like buying and renting in my eyes. Yeah, it I'll always say, depends on the person, you know. I'll say I mean, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Stream it, rent it, whatever. Red box it, whatever. I your think it's a solid is. stream it movie. I'm not sure if it carries with it a whole lot of rewatchability. No, I'm not sure if there's a whole lot no. that you can 
dig into it and you're going to know the scares that are coming up. And I'm not sure if there's a lot of analyzing you can do about it. I think there might be some thread in there where there's a little bit of a uh, parallel with the grief that they're feeling and the mm-hmm. guilt that they're feeling is kind of pulling them through it. And I don't know, you could watch it again and get to the bottom of that. But I feel like, but this is like with a lot of horror movies like that, though, like once you know what's going to happen, it takes away like paranormal activity. Like I know what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, but, it's, but I still like to rewatch them. It's, yeah. you know, and, and it's the same with Insidious. Insidious, one movies that I really like, um, you know, everything that's going to happen, but like, I don't have problems. Like, like, let's say like a year from now to watch this particular movie now again, because yeah. it's like, I like it, you know, let's watch it again. I so, would watch yeah. it again only because number one, it was short. Them boobs. And number two, <laughs> them bo- no. Um, number two, just to see um, if I can find some things that were hidden. Like Nugget was talking about uh, somebody standing in a doorway when they walked past it once that I didn't notice. Yeah. Um, just some things like that to see if I because like a lot of times things will happen and then they'll show a, they'll show the area again and everything will be back to normal and you might have missed you know some of that stuff. Yeah, um, I would watch it again for that, and just the fact that it was, I enjoyed it and it was short, but I, it's definitely not something that I would watch like once a year. No, no, definitely not. Yeah. Also, that actor looked a hell of a lot like General Zod from the Man of Steel movies. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now he said it. The kid. Oh, that's all. I, yeah, the kid. That's all I could think about the whole time I was watching it. I was like, is this See, I, related to him? I thought he looked like the guy that plays like Norman Bates. On yeah. Bates Motel. We found out he was actually the guy from uh, Into the Wild. Ah. Guy living on the bus and all. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 I, yeah. I, I, I thought it shit. was pretty. Yeah. I thought it, I thought it was pretty good. I, I, I did not enjoy it. It was aight. Um, There were some things that, like, aggravated me. Uh, I was talking to Wes today about it. Um, the scene where they foreshadow that he's probably going to fall over the banister at the end. Then should I, should, should we say spoiler alert? I don't know how yeah. old is this movie. I mean, we're talking about it in depth. There's going to be. Spoilers. All right. So, well, yeah, I just didn't want to ruin like a ending ending. So, um, anyways, so we, um, <laughs> so they foreshadow the banister crackle when he leans up against it. And then he turns around, he looks down the hallway because I think he heard the bell ringing down down the corridor stairs below him. Choo-choo. And then he goes to turn back around and, and you know, or to me, I felt like this is the perfect opportunity for a jump scare. And he turns around and the dad is there with gray eyes and he like jumps so far back and like crashes through the banister. So me and Wes also wanted to like confirm with you guys, did the dad push him or did he just jump scare just into jump the scared jump scare? Oh. okay that's that's what i thought too but we, i wasn't for sure so i was like maybe it went too fast and i just missed it but that really aggravated me and it's such a small thing that aggravated me the fact that when he cut a hole in the door with the hatchet and he peeked through and the thing with the stitches come up to the door hole and he just like slowly backed away and i'm like okay so all these other times he wasn't scared, like looking under the door and the the bell stomped down at the door and he just slowly backed away. But then the one time he turned around when the broken banister was behind him and he jump scared off the... His father, family, maybe it's different. I don't know. I understand maybe. what you're saying. I think, I think yeah. I, I felt just like wish he was safe behind those doors everywhere. Could be, but... I, I, and it might have been. I mean, maybe that's what it was. Maybe he felt safer. But to me, I'm telling you right now, if I would have looked out the hole and the stitch thing would have been there, I'd have shit my pants, peed a little, <laughs> fell backwards, probably knocked over a bunch of stuff. I mean, we see what happens in the room on D&D night. So it's, <laughs> I was just a little aggravated with that. Um, but I mean, it wasn't horrible. It was just me Takes nitpicking. You out of it a little bit. Yeah. It was and, a, and an just... overstated reaction to things, to, to that compared to how he reacted to similar things earlier yeah. in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, and I, and I thought maybe it was because, you know, he thought he was getting out of there, but then I realized no, because the sheriff started laughing, like evil laughter. So he knew he was right back into the hell that he just thought he was escaping. So yeah, I was a little bummed about that. Um, and I, but I liked, I liked all the leading up, like you guys were talking about the bell, and I liked the, bell, the, the, the mirror. The, yeah, 
And uh, and I've found myself thanks to Hill House looking in every dark corner as they like, is there something back there? And I did see the one in the room when he was passing to go to the elevator. And uh, also talked about Wes. I wanted to get your all's opinion on it too. The cat scene. Yeah. Like how right. emotion like I like they were emotionless, but then I'm thinking they deal with dead people all the time, so they're sort of used to you know, if that was my family was a cat. Lot with the eyes there. I think yeah. they, they didn't I would yeah, I didn't think they were emotionless. Emotion outwardly, it just was yeah. way more subdued. Yeah. So but then I started thinking, I was like, okay, so we had Bell Guy slowly making it down, anticipation builds. Then he whacks out through the elevator. They don't show what he hit. So right there, I, th- I thought he hit the, I thought the sheriff came and he killed the yeah. sheriff, but he ended up killing the kid's girlfriend. Do you think when he broke that cat's neck and threw it in the incinerator, that cat was really injured? Yes. Okay. I was, I was just like, what if the cat was just perfectly alive? I mean, with, other things so, got the witch. They saw other minds. things. They saw yeah, other things happen. Either. They saw other things happen, and then they went back to normal, and what they had seen hadn't happened, wasn't true. So yeah. is it at all possible right. that it fooled them, and he just broke that cat's neck, and it was just fine? Yeah. I think it makes you go back and think about it. Like, they didn't want you to think about it at that moment, but, but when they killed think. the girlfriend, it brought everything back into my mind. I was like, the fucking cat was alive. Like, he just went. <laughs> uh, I think the cat was actually dead, though. Okay. Or was dying. I think it was actually injured. From what? Like, uh, something in the vents. So, and I tell you, their first. I'm just, I'm just saying because, like, what does the Salem witch have to have against cats? It wasn't a black cat. Ooh. Mm. It hissed at her when she came in. It did. It pissed it her off. It sensed that there was something. You know what I mean? Yeah. I so mean, I, I, I mean, lost him around inside that room, so it can obviously manifest itself. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. Fair enough. I like the uh if it supernatural taught me anything, they should have used salt when they caught yeah. her on fire. Yeah. Before they threw the whole matchbook in there. So that was their first uh Mistake. first lesson in how to kill something. <laughs> but um not to toot not to toot my own horn, but I called witch right as they brought her in. I was like, oh, and Belinda's like, no, because like the weird stuff that was going on. I, she was, you know, we argued about was it a demon? And I was like, no, this is a witch. I mentioned just the tormented dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, see, and, and the way and that the, the sheriff brought her in, I thought he maybe killed her because he had such a weird reaction bringing her in there and leaving. They made me feel like maybe he killed her and she was going after everybody to tell them that he did it. But man, they, they messed with my head on that. Yeah. And then once the stuff went on, I was like, oh, the eyes. The, the stuff that's going on, I was like, this is a witch. And Blinda's like, what? And then they started, fo- they took that hex bag out of her. And I was like, oh, I knew it. Nice. They started to figure out the date. And I was like, she's going to be a Salem witch. And they, right. I hit it right on the head. And I was like, yes. But not so much was she, I mean, I guess she was, but she wasn't. But she turned into one. Yeah. When they killed her. Yeah. So. And I think that's what a lot of things, you know, could have done back then because. All those people weren't witches, man. They were just murdering people because right. people said they were. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it was good. See it. I liked it. I I guess I started to lose a little bit of interest the farther into the movie it went because it kept getting more and more far-fetched and it was hard to keep me in. I mean, it's a supernatural movie, but I didn't care for the ending. Like, the very ending, just it continues on somewhere else. Yeah. But. Yep, I definitely I give it a I give it a rent it, stream it. I feel like when they have like these endings, they just set something up if interest is high enough to maybe you know like for example to have like fifty spinoffs or something. Right, and just don't do that. Wrap your movie yeah. up. Yeah, Come on. I agree with you. Yeah. Well, and, like, and that was the other thing I told Wes. It really bothered me at the very fucking end. I thought she was going to murder the ambulance driver, and I was like. All right, she's gonna murder this guy, and it's over. We're done. It's it's all over. And her fucking toe made a bell ring, and the bell ding, ding. wasn't even there. Yeah, there's no bell like, at all. I was like, come on, yeah. you're not gonna do this where it's gonna be another movie or another 14 movies made out of this one, please. The Don't ambulance crash of Jane Doe. Yeah, it's, 
We get her to the next hospital and we get to watch the same autopsy go over again in her boobs. All right, so I've got stream it, Pascal. Definitely stream it. Back. Stream it. Okay. Stream it. Solid flick. All right, are we picking yeah. another one? Uh, yeah, it's my turn by default. Yet again, the master of the dice is the last to choose. And I am going to pick the arrival. Ooh, I just watched oh. that. I gotta watch it again. Go I gotta on. watch it again. Dude, go Googling. On. It's nice. Is that with the uh, um Amy Adams? Amy oh, I like her. Adams. The other one too from uh he everybody knows him with Marvel. I only oh, know yeah, him. Hawkeye, Hawkeye, Jeremy Renner. I, yeah. I, I know him from there was like a zombie movie twenty eight weeks later and her I can't longer. Amy Adams play her Jane Doe. <laughs> <laughs> That's forced <Whitaker. laughs> Band down. <laughs> you broke Pascal. I'm good at breaking Pascal. He can't handle my sexual references. I think he hit his head. <laughs> I make him. I make him giggle like a schoolgirl. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I think he's dying and laughing. He's like, "Well, what time. you don't know is I just got done watching Amy Adams porn." <laughs> well, they just stick a head on a naked body. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. So good, solid stream. It's frozen? No, nah, well, he was actually, but. All right, the arrival. <laughs> All right, chat. The arrival. That's your freaking homework for next Tuesday, 10 p.m. Watch the arrival so you can participate. I'm it's pretty sure interactive. Me and Zach have seen arrival twice <laughs> because we talked about it. I've never I haven't seen the arrival. Yeah. Oh, no, that was the other one. Sorry, I was, I was thinking of the one where they go into the, that the was, shimmering uh, mist. Uh, yeah, what is that one called? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't think of it either, knows. but we'll call it the shimmering mist until we figure That's it out. That's fine. It'll yeah. probably actually pull it up on Google. Shimmering mist. <laughs> so what are we up? What's up next, guys? Are we already at news? We're at news. news. I hit my toe so hard right now. Your toe? <laughs> Again, well, actually, it was a while ago. It wasn't right now. But... Ding -a -ding -a -ding -a. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Get I'll that figure. man a body bag. I've got some news, and most of it involves streaming, actually. Not not so much games or anything like that, but... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Got a couple of things. First of all, you guys know the 16-year-old uh, the kid that won the Fortnite tournament and won, like, $3 million. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess they doxed the fuck out of him, and uh, apparently a couple days ago, while he was streaming... He got swatted, so it's ridiculous. He's, he had to leave his stream in the middle of his freaking stream because his dad's yelling at him that there are co armed cops here at the front door wanting to know what the hell's going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, luckily, nobody got hurt and everything was cool. And the only reason, well, a big reason as to why that's the case is because one of the officers that was responding knows the family and knows the situation that they're in and was like hold on this you know this isn't exactly right you know and yeah. so they they uh <laughs> i guess they knocked before they flash banged so that's a good thing we can't see that annihilation is that the one with I put um, in the shimmering mist movie and it pulled up annihilation is that the nice. one with with padme Yes. Natalie Portman? Yes. Okay. Um, so people continue to be dicks on Twitch. Right? Um, I just don't understand what you get out of that shit. Then, attention. Then there's... Is it attention, though? No. Like, how is the person... The person who gets satisfaction for being a dick. And yeah. There's no, there's no attention there. Nobody's going to stand up and go, look what I did. Right? To be in jail. Some people like to see the world burn. Yeah, for some reason. This is like true. Fucking Elmo. Fucking Elmo. Burn Elmo. Yeah. No, um, I mean, hopefully, they just sit back in their sad life, man. And they want to drag somebody down with them. It's the only thing. It's so frustrating. Mm hmm. So people get hurt by that shit. Now, the, uh, the internet is turning against Twitch, which I think is a, a little dramatic, but. Everybody knows, like we talked about last week, Ninja went to Mixer, and everything was, was great until 
Twitch decided to not take the high ground. They couldn't just leave his channel alone. He, he already got, you know, they, they take your partnership away, which removes the ability for people to sub and give you bits. They take your verified badge away. But anybody else that leaves or becomes no longer a partner, if I, if I went back to Mixer, you could go to my page. All my artwork, all my branding art is still there. All my panels are still there. Um, my clips and highlights are all still there. My VODs for the time that they would be saved are all still there. Well, a few days after he was gone, all of that shit was gone off of his page. And instead, there was a message that said, we're sorry, this streamer is in another castle. And there was like a 9 to 16 frame square advertising in pictures other streamers that were allegedly playing Fortnite. Now, the the... That's kind of a dick move. I get they want to capitalize on the traffic of people that are going to his site to uh, shoot it out to some of their other streamers. I get that, and I'm cool with that. But people should be able to go there and access the content that he made for them just like they would anybody else. He's not. He shouldn't be treated Absolutely. any differently. Um, and he gets a shit ton of traffic, and most of that traffic is, I would say, between the ages of 10 and 14 years old, or 8 and 14. I don't know. I know my kid is 10. He loves Fortnite. Um, you know, does he, does he watch Ninja? No, but I'm sure out of the 14 million viewers, a lot of them are, are kids his age. So they go there and they want to watch some clips. Well, they can't watch the clips because Twitch has taken the links to them all down. But you know what they can watch? Boobs. Porn. Yeah, Porn. Because in their wonderful algorithm that they set up to advertise all these other streamers on their platform, on Ninja's page only, uh, one of them actually actively had porn. And I would say on the thumbnail, but it's not a thumbnail. It was a pretty big window. You could see the porn right there in the window as you're looking. For like six hours, I think. So. 69 hours. Now, you know, Ninja stopped even cussing over a year ago on his stream because he knew he knows his audience. And so for, yeah, say it was a mistake all they want. Listen, it's just absolutely ridiculous if, to try to destroy his brand in that way if, by if, putting if, shit like that on a channel that they know. But here's what that was. But here's yeah. another thing, though. That wasn't it wasn't only the people that did that. It was I mean, it was Twitch because no, when everybody else leaves that is partnered. They don't have recommended channels. No, on them. They, their they channel is just there. They were experimenting with Ninja. I mean, they were experimenting, but only on Ninja. Yeah, now, only nobody on else, Ninja's channel. Yeah, everybody else who who switched or went, went there or quit Twitch to go to YouTube, they never done it. But with Ninja, they do because they're greedy. They're money hungry and butt hurt. You got that lettuce butt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> but if you wanted a good feel good, um you know, restore your faith in humanity type Twitch story. I've not got one for you. What, oh I, do, what I do have for you is my favorite story of the night. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to read the title of the article. <laughs> Someone tells 14 year old streamer to stick his hand in a, in a mixer. So he does. They better watch out. They might put porn on his site. Now, what we're looking at here is a 14-year-old kid was doing a cooking stream, and he's got a KitchenAid stand mixer, and the dude mm. is, is using it to mix the cookie dough up. And those things are, um, you know, if you go up a, a KitchenAid stand mixer against a 14-year-old's wrist, a uh, KitchenAid stand mixer wins, bro. That finger's oh. first, man. Yeah. I have been around a KitchenAid stand mixer, and I look at that thing, and like, that's not safe for anyone to use. No, it's some Ooh, hardcore, um, heavy-duty kitchen shit right there. So it's mixing the dough, and he's looking at it, and he's doing his little kitchen stream, and he's all happy because I'm a dumb underage streamer, and nobody's supervising me. And so the guy in chat is like, well... Why does he have to be dumb for? I'll tell you in just a second. Why don't you stick your hand in there and help mix it up? 
And so he's like, you want me to... S-? Yeah, okay. And he does, and you hear... Pa-dong! And he jerks his hand out of there real fast, screaming. Um, that how that, that really hurt. Idea. Yeah, like that wasn't a good idea. You could actually you like say it like Charlie bit me. Pretty much. Ow, Charlie, Charlie bit me. Look. Stan Mixer bit me. Stupid troll. So yeah, it was it was pretty awesome. I watched the video <laughs> of it. It was on Twitter, and um, he actually defended the guy later. He's like. For everybody being mean to him, you know, he, he was just trying to be funny or something like that. They're like, I think a better words, naive. Yes. Yeah, okay. At yeah. 14. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. But yeah, so. Yeah, I I bet that I'm wondering if there's some kind of safety thing in there. Could somebody try? Just kidding. <laughs> you don't think so? It'll, it'll cut off. Just safety? go stick your hand in there and, no. and, and let us know. Damn it. I've done I it again. I, what is it about this podcast that makes me lose followers? All right, guys. I'm Googling. I'm going to buy a stand mixer, and I'm going to put a 2 <laughs> I've by got four in one. It stop. Okay, you want to put a 2 by 4 in it? Oh, man, those things are expensive. My wife would kill me. Hell no. A, yeah, right? Yeah, shoving a 2 by 4 in anyone who owns one of those things. <laughs> Trust you should have seen. I, I worked at a family-owned grocery well, I mean, he stuck his hand in the damn thing. It didn't stop. Oh, I didn't know. You said it went boy oing oing. Yeah, it was it went boy oing oing off his fingers, and he jerked him out of there real quick. Like I'm sure you get some pretty thick dough in there. Like it's working to move that shit. I don't mm-hmm. think it stopped to move a hand. Yeah. It just Look at Pascal off. flexing on us, by the way. He's frozen. I know. I was being funny. No, it is funny. <laughs> He's flexing on us. Fuck you, buddy. I could fight too. You want some of this? Yeah. Start strong, finish stronger. <laughs> in English, yeah. So it's a uh, poor kid, man. Poor kid. Anyway, what else we got? Anybody? We I don't know. That's else? that's all my news. Um, I had read an article this week that uh, Death Stranding isn't necessarily going to be a PS4 exclusive. Um. It sounds like they may be bringing it to PC, but then Pascal had said he read something that it's technically still Sony's IP, uh, so Kojima can't do anything without their approval. So we can hope that it will still come to PC, and hopefully we'll get some more news after yeah, that. Yeah, was... What game were we talking about last? Red Dead. Um, no, it wasn't Red Dead. Dead. No. There was a game like we talked about, and Wes and Pascal had talked about it, and they sh- Wes showed me a video, and I was like, "Oh, that looks like uh, like oh, Outlands, uh, Fallout or... New Vegas, oh, yeah, Outland. Outland." So I read an article almost the same along the same lines of what you did, where they said that uh, it was going to come out first on PS4 and then come out later on PC and Xbox. Like they wanted to make it an exclusive, but the game was supposed to be so good they wanted to share it with everybody. They didn't want nobody not to be able to play it so i'm curious if that's the same same thing uh, that somebody I just assumed just said that outland was going to be an xbox exclusive franchise now hmm As so i don't i don't know that. today but i didn't actually read it okay so, so some more research into that hello hello he's back. He's back um and then i also have some super huge nerdy news not Give only it to us, baby. Talk nerdy to us. do we get the Witcher Netflix series. It has mm. been confirmed that there will be a Warhammer 40k live action TV series. Good lord. So will a turtle know man participate in know this? About Warhammer 40k. Absolutely shit, nothing. A lot of action. Bat shit crazy. And a lot of Isn't that the one that they had in the arcade where you like get up inside the damn thing and you're on a gimbal gun and it's like virtual reality and you're spinning it all around shooting shit? Very possibly, because what that is is that is all about shooting shit. <clears throat> There's like like it's it's like the Warhammer Total War game I play, only set in the year forty thousand, the forty first century. And there's the Imperium of Man, there's these chaos infused humans. That are coming to blow everything up at the behest of the gods. There's dark space elves. There's dwarves. There's orcs. And it's just everyone's constantly fighting over planets and shit. The Imperium of Man has some god emperor leader that 
drives everything, but the dude only stays alive because they sacrifice thousands of people to him daily. So sometimes you just get picked out to be a sacrifice for this guy. Uh, and the series is going to be a live action. And it's going to focus on an Inquisitor of the High Imperium of Man. Uh, it looks like it might be awesome. It has the potential to be really cool. He, it, what they're surmising is it's going to follow this particular character's story arc of sussing out a demon that is um, possessing people. And he goes a little crazy and becomes a heretic while he does it. So he's getting hunted down by the Imperium while he's hunting down this demon who's fucking shit up. Oh. Hmm. Well, you should definitely be their spokesperson because, like, I know nothing yeah. about it and I'm already hyped. Like, dude, it, <laughs> I'm ready to go. should be hyped. I yeah. almost know nothing about 40K because I don't like the way their Space Marine armor looks. I think it looks goofy. But I like the Warhammer universe enough that I'm fucking hype about this shit. So nice. I've been watching a lot of painting videos. If you ever want to watch cool painting videos, find some cool Warhammer 40K paints. I watched this one. This dude painted. It's a 20-pound, two-and-a-half-foot-tall miniature that actually gets used. Like, you can use that thing in your army when you play Warhammer 40K tabletop. Like, that's a piece that you get to have. Oh, my God. I can't imagine how much that thing was or how much that dude charged for the commission work to get it painted, but yeah. I digress. That's all the news I have. Aside from uh, Overwatch patch came out, roll queues out today um, with the new hero. Uh, the Apex patch is out. Uh, it brings the solo queue for two weeks and a couple other updates. Uh, a new zone in the um, map that's based on Octane. Um, Are they ever going to put like a new map in it? Were there rumors about I it? Them or? I don't think they they're, are. They... They're fortniting it. Pascal. Evolving uh, that okay. same map. They're evolving that same map each season. Okay. What so there's a, new, there's a new there's a new little town uh, placed in there now between Thunderdome and Airbase that is Octane based. Okay, so jump pads and stuff? Uh, I don't know. I died before I got there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's my news, yo. Nice. Nice. I'll piggyback off your news about Apex, because I just want to say, f fuck them and this money making. I just want to argue, I just want to complain about it. So, one, the new Apex uh, super legendary bloodhound skin that comes with the weapon you can use. It looks like a tomahawk or some, kind of, like some type of hatchet. I uh, can't remember what the name of it was. But from what I read, it looks like for you to be able to buy this hatchet, you have to buy these packs and hopefully get these 24 sets of coins to unlock the buy button for the hatchet to pay $35 for it. But it looks like they've added it up and you should be able to get it for $170. Oh, that's so if nice. You need this, if you need this skin, it'll cost you about $170. That's not bad considering I didn't pay shit mm -mm. for the fucking game. Yeah, no, I mean, it's totally not bad. I would totally pay 170 to have a hatchet. You would. So, but then I guess uh, afterwards, I think Zach said that, uh, and I think I read it in there too, it will eventually be in the packs with like the Wraith knife, so. That you, you might can't get. get unless you pay money to get loot boxes in the game. Okay, so. Because you again. stop getting loot boxes. And the percentage of that, if I know EA, would be 0. 0.0001. Um, what did they say for the Wraith? The Wraith knife was guaranteed. You're guaranteed to get it if you opened up 500 right? loot boxes. Yeah, okay. 1%. Yeah. So that's not bad. Than, and loot, yeah. loot boxes are, I think, 10 cents, right? A piece? Uh, or... Uh, more like a dollar each. Oh, a dollar each. Got it. <laughs> Five hundred dollars for the wraith knife. Yeah. Nice. But if you buy, some people do that. <laughs> uh, if you buy the big bundle of coins, you save like ten percent. Oh. So ten percent of five hundred like is what fifty? So four hundred and fifty. So hey guys, buy the hatchet. You save yourself another three hundred dollars. Anyways, on to the next thing. Since I'm in a mood at pissing people off, uh, the new Lion King beat Frozen in worldwide sales. <laughs> so ridiculous. Like, that's obviously just people 
our age going to see this because they watched it. It is. As a kid it is like, very. Here, come see this new movie, my child. You'll love this. I loved it when I was a kid. And then they see that garbage. And and I'll be like the the EA fans, and when they come out with the uh, live action Mulan, Mulan, I'll be there to see. I really didn't see Mulan. What's another one? Um, what's a, what's a live action they could do that was older? Uh, Bambi. We've already done Snow White. There we go. Live action motherfucking Bambi. I will be there. <laughs> Front Just row, IMAX, ready it's to just go. Like a Cabela's video game. <laughs> You get you get the plastic gun in the beginning, so you can shoot Bambi's right. mom and dad. I want live action Finding Nemo. That, ooh, God, that would be so all garbage. underwater. It'd make me feel like I was back in my Subnautica days. <laughs> Did you hear about what's going on with Subnautica? No, I'm glad so, I said that. G two A, the key re- reselling site, they were working on putting out. Uh, some algorithm or something along those lines that would block out keys that people were trying to sell if it belonged to someone else. And Subnaut- the Subnautica developers were one of the people that were involved in this. Um, they're na- now asking G2A to pay them $300,000 for lost keys. Wow. Wow. Um, wow. Needless to say, G2A has not responded <laughs> to them, but they're saying that it was promised to them based on some some talks or something like that, and they want their three hundred thousand dollars. I'd be like, take me to court, bro. Great Possession is not wow. of the law. Huh? It ain't me. I ain't the one. I ain't the one stealing the keys. Well, speaking of algorithms, my last thing of news: good old movie pass. Oh boy! So I told Zach and everybody about the uh, the unlimited movies at Regal. Zach has used it, and it sounds like he's already got his month worth of movies out of it. I uh, two. I got That'd plans be... to go see one this weekend too. Go so I, would, I mean, I would definitely. I mean, pretty much now, this next movie's free for you. Yeah. Technically, air quotes. Um. So I read an article about Movie Pass, and we all knew. I think we talked about them early on in the year. Maybe even last year when I think Zach was doing Movie Pass and I was almost on board with it, but I was so scared because it sounded too good to be true. It and was. they went, yeah, they went multiple, multiple millions of dollars in debt. Um, I think eventually it got down to Zach. You had to, you only got like two tickets with your membership at that point, like before it got like totally just garbage. It wasn't a, it wasn't a, a cool thing anymore. Yeah, but uh, so. They now have workers that are telling people about what they did at Movie Pass, and I think there should be a fucking lawsuit, class action lawsuit, and everybody should get in on it. Um, Movie Pass, if you were seeing too many movies, they would go in and change your password so you could not access your card or your inf- like any of your information, so then you couldn't go see movies. Because you couldn't access, because you used the card at the movie theater, right, Zach? Yeah. Okay, so you sign up what on did the change app, in? You go and you swipe your card. So then, I guess then the changing the password would be when they shut down your card. Then you couldn't access the why it was shut down. So you couldn't get into the app to. Okay. Okay. So you had to have the password for the app. Yeah. See, it didn't elaborate what the password was for, so I was I assumed it would be something like that. So they changed people's passwords so they couldn't get in to see a movie. They also set an algorithm on to if you started seeing too many movies, like say you saw five or six movies in a week or a month or whatever, it would just automatically like start making your card decline when you were trying to use it to get into movies. And then they went as far as picking popular movies. And some people like hat they said like fifty over fifty percent of the people who wanted to go see one of the movies they said that came out was Mission Impossible Fallout. And they turned like 50 or so percent of the people's card off to where you couldn't see like popular movies that were just coming out. That's such bullshit. <laughs> so that's a, that had me so weary on the Regal one. And that's sort of, I still haven't taken the jump and I really like Regal. I, but... I think you are perp- per- fuck. perfectly safe going with the Regal Pass. Because 
it's only their theater. So right. they aren't yeah, paying yeah. out the money for other people's theaters. And where MoviePass and the specific theater ones differ, theaters don't, I mean, they do, but they don't make their money off of movie tickets. True. They make their money off of concession sales. So just getting you in the door and then possibly you buying concessions is what's going to keep yep. their 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 card profitable. Uh, oh, yeah. I, you know, know I think so it's told... way safer to go with theirs than it is this overarching one. That yeah, and it's a, a realistic price. Like, yeah. movie passes was like nine, right? Nine dollars? Um, It was 20. Oh, was but it? it's still unlimited it so movies. Cheap. But it, yeah, Regals is still unlimited movies. You can go as many times as you want, yeah. and a ten percent discount on concessions. But like Scary. when you go in there and you buy a bottle of water for fucking six dollars, seven dollars, yeah, yeah, like yeah, they're making money off of that. Or Fountain, because I mean, I know so you at get, the company I work at. Go ahead. You get unlimited fucking movies for twenty bucks. Yes, twenty bucks a month, eighteen dollars a month. You get I, unlimited movies. You can oh, go and see. I'm canceling mine. And, you get, and we get the same I have, 10% I, I'm on Cinemark. I'm on Cinemark uh, where I get one movie a month. It's like $8. I get one movie a month and then like 20% off of concessions and no like online purchasing fees and all, all, the, all the little fees and shit are waived if you buy online and different things. Uh, and then you rack up extra points, which you can used to redeem blah 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 yeah. it's not bad because you get you get a free movie a month it, you know it, it pays for itself and you usually can get a coupon or something for like a free large popcorn or whatever um but if you can get unlimited for free goal is 18 bucks a month and you get on you could see six movies monday and then go see six movies on tuesday and then go see six movies on wednesday there's wow. no limit and the only stipulation you said was they just can't overlap in time. Correct. So if your movie's over at 3.30 and this one starts at 3.15, you wouldn't be able to see it. You would not be able to sign up for that, no. Okay. Um, Which and then, so that discourages agree. people There's, staying there all day watching movies. Um, I don't think it really discourages because it's easy to find ones that match up. That's to help ensure that you aren't giving your card to other people to uh, okay. use. Okay. It, it, so you can't be in two places at one time kind of sort of thing. Um, you also, you have to pay a surcharge if you want to see any special format. So if you want to see IMAX or 3D, um, you, have to, you have to just pay a surcharge. So it'll be like an extra four bucks for your ticket instead of whatever, but that's totally worth it. Yeah. Oh, it is. I, I, I just, I guess MoviePass had me so scared, so... Yeah, no, I think you're safe doing the Regal one if you have a Regal theater around you. Yeah. So that's all I got. Awesome. I don't know if Pascal's still alive or not. We're yeah, getting close so to cutoff time, but... Not only my toe is, like, in pain, um, a lot of pain, but my computer also had a restart and update during our podcast, so I'm on my phone now. Oh, uh, that's why you sounded different. And okay. it's making weird noises. Well, that's fine. We'll, we'll go ahead and... Uh, if, if you... Uh... Bye. Bye, Zach. Everybody See you guys. Bye, Thanks for letting me cut out a little early. <laughs> hey, uh, we're, cutting, we're cutting the Thanks. whole thing out a little early. Oh. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Pascal, you got any news for us or are you done, buddy? Uh, no Man's Sky, a new update comes out tomorrow called Beyond. It's the biggest update yet since they had Next. Since Next, they had two updates one introducing, um, it's called The Abyss introducing subnautica elements and um i think visions which was um better terrain and better like archaeology and stuff like this now with beyond we have full vr support um fully integrated um npcs that actually matter have their own lives stuff we have a fully multiplayer function where you get automatically instanced instead of joining your team and then multiplayer, you're automatically connected to an online world. There's a galactic hub where you can go to missions together. They rework the whole mission framework. Um, the oceans got different, a bunch of shit. Like, it's too much to go into detail, but it's basically No Man's Sky 2.0 right now. Um, like, almost like a new game. Where I heard work. I heard that, you know, last year when they did the big update, they... It finally gave us everything that they had promised to begin with. And they said that yeah. this update is actually like 
way bigger, more substantial yeah. than that update. And they uh, even announced Sean Murray, the head from Hello Games, said that this update, the, even though it's big, it's just a framework for bigger ones incoming that they're already working on. So they keep on supporting it for free, um, no charge. Everybody gets it who has the game. Um, totally worth it. Totally redeemed themselves. It's better than what they announced it to be. And I can't wait what else they're going to bring in, but they're not done yet. So we'll Do you see. know if it's still on sale on Steam? It uh, Last time I checked, it was on sale on the Humble Bundle, I think, or on Steam on one of the sites for like 20 bucks. There you go. So definitely worth it. Pick it's definitely worth 60 bucks. Um, but for 20, yeah, it's a no-brainer. If you like space exploration, that's the uh, game to go now. My wallet. <laughs> and did you know that if you follow Westman Y2K, he is a Humble Bundle partner? There is a link. Yeah. You, you can There's get. a link. You can click on that link right there that he's probably going to post it. You may point. no fuck that. <laughs> um, you may no, or may not get ten percent off, but I'll get I'll get ten percent. Oh by the way, come if on! You have Amazon Prime, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but yeah, that was about me about gaming news. Um, that was just a big one that stood out to me because oh. I have already eighty hours in next, so I can't wait to put like hundred plus hours in the new update, which I probably will because, goddamn. That looks good. That's what Pascal does, bitches. Hell yeah. But Divinity has priority, so. <laughs> I got to get to the Divinity. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, so. so is that it, Pascal? That is it. My gaming news, yeah. Well, I can make uh, weird and wacky news fast. I'm not even going to read the article. I'm just going to tell you what the fuck happened to somebody if everybody's down. Go for it. Do that shit. All right, so welcome to Weird and Wacky News. I'm your host, TJ. Uh, nothing's changed. Uh, so the, in the Weird and Wacky News, a person went to the hospital complaining of having difficulty swallowing, pain in the throat, coughing up blood. So they did x-rays. They found out, oh, we think you have pneumonia. You were just in here having an, an operation done. It's pneumonia. Take this medicine, go home, you'll be okay. Eight days later... Comes back in, complaining of pain in his throat. Still having problems eating. They finally decide to check his throat out. I'm assuming endoscopy, because that's usually what they do when you have swallowing problems. And they found his motherfucking dentures he thought he lost in the hospital during his surgery. Well, he did lose. He didn't think he, he knew, technically. So could you imagine? Like, it's a full set of dentures. I don't know if the X-ray on the the thumbnail is the true pictures from it or not, because I'm sure they he probably didn't release those medical records. But could you imagine you swallow your dentures with teeth on them, well, and they just get stuck in your throat? That's gonna be painful. Hell huh? yeah! And he just thought he lost them. Wow! But they've been found, and he is uh, doing okay. Well, that's, that's what I like great. to think of anyways, because I don't know him personally. He I mean, is. how the fuck do you not him. feel dentures in the back of right? your throat? Like, well, I mean, maybe now I know. You guys ever go get a physical or when you go to the doctor and they like, fill your, the side of your throat? I bet they're filling for fucking dentures. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. That's like when a girl is like, yeah. I didn't know I was pregnant until I started giving birth. <laughs> yeah. I had this baby. Did you guys know I was pregnant? How did no. that get in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hashtag, man. when you go to surgery, don't wear your dentures. Yes, please stay yep. safe out there, guys. Don't put foreign objects in your mouth when you go to surgery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, man. We're going to wrap it, it up. That's, that's the dentures in your mouth, bitches. All right, so we are so going to wrap it up for the today? evening. A song? Did we have the song? Did we play? We have a song. song I haven't played a song. I was gonna play it on the outro. Oh, okay. So I, I just thought intro and outro because it's so fucking good. I just downloaded it in the middle of the show. So, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All right. That but makes anyway, sense. guys, uh, it, it, you know, if you if you watch us live, we appreciate it. We enjoy the interaction in chat. And if you don't watch us live, if you can't catch us, you can download us every week on you. Uh, well, I said YouTube. I I'm behind on YouTube. Spotify, Google Play, Apple. They don't call it iTunes anymore, guys. They call it just Apple. Mm. Apple no, Store, Apple, Apple Podcasts, uh, Stitcher, Anchor, any of, the, any of the places where you find your 
podcast joy. That's right. I, I don't, dude, I listen to so many podcasts. I get them all on Google Play myself, but uh, yeah, the shit is there. Yeah, go rate that shit. The only rate place I know, shit. well, Thank you, Husky. the only big place you can rate it is Apple. You can't rate, um, you can't rate or leave comments on Google. I don't understand that, but. Yeah, go go download that shit. Go rate it. It'll help us out a lot. More than anything, share it with somebody that you think would like it. So um, anyway, as always, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us. And I want to thank you, Pascal, Zach, TJ, for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, next Tuesday always. around 10 p.m. Sound good for you guys? Sounds good. Do your homework, Sweet. guys. Do your homework. Am I having an after party? Yeah, rival. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to do something. I, I'm going to do something. I'll be I'll be on in about 15 minutes. So, yeah, we're going to watch The Arrival. Make sure you watch The Arrival for next week so we can all talk about it. Yep. Maybe we can even have you on the show. You never know. So that's yeah. it for us tonight. Everybody say bye. Later, bye. dude. And, in, and enjoy this this little uh, theme song put together by none other yeah. than Pascal. Later. I got to unmute everything. Psychress. <laughs> Wes is always playing man, so we can do a podcast tonight. Cause side quest is always about Wes. TJ is always ready, ready to do another episode. But then Zach says he can do a podcast cause he doesn't feel right and he has to do a cake ball. So this is us. So so, uh, 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 I quest. Then we at week three finally wanting to do a side quest podcast. <laughs> but then Pascal oh, calls off. Oh no, man. <laughs> side quest. Side quest. Usually check us out every Tuesday. Unless Wes plays Madden. Again? Come on. <laughs> Later, guys. Zach, do it. I'll see you guys in about 15 minutes. We'll play some Madden or something. Later. No, seriously, do it. Bye, guys. I think TJ's muted. Bye. No, I didn't say anything. Say bye. Bye. Oh, bye. 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 bye.